Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to be doing a video request for Microsoft Word 2016. The request comes in from Natasha. Natasha asks, hey Morgan, could you do me a favor and make another video about how to add a caption? Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add a caption in Microsoft Word 2016. Let's go ahead and get started. Adding captions can be pretty easy once you know how to do it. A lot of people, when they have a picture on their Word document, they'll try to put text below it, but it won't really work out because that text is in with the regular body paragraph, so we don't want that. Instead, what you would do is, let's say we wanted to add a caption to this picture right here. I could click on the picture, and then once the picture is selected, I could go to the References tab, and then I could go to the Captions group, and I could click right there on insert caption and this labels your picture or object you can do this to a picture you can do this to a table so let's go ahead and click insert caption so I click insert caption right here it opens up a caption dialog box then what it says is caption this right here is what will actually appear right below or above the picture so if I said figure one and then a hyphen and then I said SPF 45 um, right there for that sun block. I could then change this to say for my options figure, equation, table, or I could even add a new label right down here. So let's say that this is a figure, but let's say I wanted to call it picture. I could go right here and call it picture and then I click OK and now it says picture 1 SPF 45 and then I could say do I want it below the picture or above it? I'll leave it below and then it says exclude label from caption. So I can exclude the actual label itself and it'll just say one. All right, so there we go. You could also create, uh, you could also delete labels. So if I didn't want it to say picture or equation or one of these, I could delete them and just have my custom ones there. And then finally on numbering, you could choose a number format and you could choose any of these as well as your chapters and base those off of your styles. All right, so right there, I'm not going to do that. And then I can go ahead and click OK. And it says picture one SPF 45. All right, now the way that this is formatted right here has to do with what your caption style is. So let's go to the home tab, the styles group. If I wanted all of my uh, styles to be displayed, I click on this more button right here and I click more. And then I can see there's my caption style right there. Now let's say I didn't like the way that the caption looked. I could always right click and modify the style right there. I could click modify and then let's say I wanted the caption to be size 12 font and I wanted the text to be in orange. I could click those things, modify my caption style and then I click OK. And then we see my caption style is updated. So now every time I add in a new caption, it'll have that same style. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So up here, I'll go ahead and insert a table. So if I uh, create a new paragraph here, I go to the insert tab and I insert in a new table. Let's say that I've filled out this table, it looks good. Now I'm gonna add in a caption to the table. I'm gonna go to the references tab and I'll go to the captions group and I'll click right here, insert caption. Now this says picture one. Notice that my um, caption color is updated in here because I just modified the style and I'll call this table one and I'll just call it examples. All right, then I click okay. And let's say I want it to be above the table on this case, I click okay. And then we see it says table one examples. And so that's how we add captions into a table. So this was a video request from Natasha. Natasha, I hope that this helped you out. For anyone else watching, thank you so much for watching up to this point. Please leave a comment if you have a video request of your own and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.